Yeah, good afternoon YouTube. This is the uh, C3 battery pack. I replaced the number two and three cells in and I've run it for a few days now and it finally shut off and I just wanted to see uh, what the voltage was. Actually, it looks like it's coming up a little bit. It was about 17.1 when it first shut off. It's climbed up to uh, 17.42. So I think it's time to see if this will work on the uh, charger. I just want to see if I can measure the capacity. So I'll get back to you. Okay, I got the uh, this same battery pack. I've hooked up the positive and negative. I've got it set on lithium ion charging, which should shut off at uh, 4.1 volts per cell. And I've got it set on five serial. So let's see. Battery check, and you can see it's picked up the voltage is a little low, so it's showing up. Oh, looks like this one is, yeah, this is one of the earlier charge uh, cells, and it doesn't like to charge that way. So it looks like the ability to charge these externally. Uh, kind of depends on the BMS. The later model battery management boards in there seem to allow charging like this and the early ones don't. So I'll have to come up with a different way to charge uh, to charge and measure the capacity of these. So I think I'll just put this in my uh, Craftsman charger. I'll see if that actually works because that'll be the first time I've charged this battery as a uh, whole unit, make sure that works. So I'll get back to you in a second here. Okay, we've got the uh, got the Craftsman charger plugged in here, and let's see if this battery. Let's see where we're at here. So we've got a red red LED on the fuel gauge, and let's uh, I'll switch over to DC load. So we're running seven amps right now. And let's see, we'll plug it in, we'll get the flashing red light, which means it's evaluating. And now it goes to the green, flashing green, up there. So that says it's charging, and it's jumped up to, looks like, yeah, five and a half, five, five and a half amps of charging current. So that's kind of a normal, uh, charging current on these. So we'll let that go and see if it uh, charges up. At least it does charge, looks like it's charging in the, the Craftsman charger. I want to try to figure out why, what's the difference between charging in this charger versus charging in the IMAX. So there's something going on between the battery and the charger because this charger charges the battery and when I try to charge with the IMAX it doesn't charge. So just trying to figure out uh, you know number one if I can just measure what kind of capacity this battery pack has and then maybe try to find out what what sort of uh, interface there is because there's something that this charger does to charge this battery that the uh, just basic uh, IMAX charger doesn't do. So there's a little little uh, investigation to do. I'll, I'll see if this one charges and, and uh, looks like it is. It's sitting there at, uh, you know, five and a half, six amps of uh, current. So you can see they taking 12 and a half, it was taking seven, so that's, uh, looks like it's taking charge. It'll run that way for about an hour and then it should shut off. And okay, YouTube, it looks like the battery has charged. It's got the green light on, the red light off, so that says it's good usually. And let's check the, uh, See what the fuel gauge says, and it's green. 
I got the green light so at least I know this battery it can be charged in the at least in the craftsman charger and it can run run a load for a couple of days so I think this battery is good so I think the next step is I'll try to uh, see if I can fabricate a uh, a little adapter to, like I said, to plug in here. Use one of these, uh, the connector post off of the top of one of these. And uh, that way I can plug into the charger and then bring the, the wires from the charger out and then run that through a uh, watt meter, watts up meter, and see if we can measure I still want to measure the capacity of this pack um, and some of my other ones that don't charge on the IMAX just to yeah, kind of keep track of it. Uh, you know, what I did was measured the capacity of my one battery pack and wrote it down. And then, you know, in a year, I can uh, compare numbers and see if the battery pack is. Uh, you know, once once the capacity starts going down, it's probably getting old, and uh, so it'd be nice to uh, be able to follow the uh, capacity, just keep track of it. And uh, but anyway, looks like replacing number two and three cells, like I noted there. Fix this. Uh, the other pack, which is this one. This was my number five battery pack. This one I just had to pre-charge the five cells inside. That's the one I did in uh, in the number two step, and it, it still works. You can see the fuel gauge lights up there, green. So this one works fine. Uh, the one and I had two of the dead, supposedly dead packs were actually just needed to be charged regular and they work fine so actually that uh, eBay auction with four dead packs I have four working packs now so that was a pretty good bargain only had to repair one of them and the other three just needed to be charged in one way or the other so if you like that uh, video series you can check out uh, some of my other videos if you have any questions uh, add them to the comment section below be sure to rate and share this video and uh, subscribe to the channel for updates. Thanks for watching.